IRS train wreck of the week is our segment where we talk about somebody who came into the office and they were a total and complete train wreck and uh, no surprise are here where they always leave happy. So today's that's uh, right. Or they don't make the list, the cut list, of the train wreck of the week. Yeah, the, the cases that don't where they don't leave happy, they don't make the cut for the IRS train wreck of the week. This one is a little bit interesting. It's a lot different than anyone that I've ever shared before. And here's how it goes. I had a gentleman come in who was actually a lawyer, and um, he had filed a bankruptcy uh, himself. He wasn't a bankruptcy lawyer, and he filed it. That's called pro se when you're representing yourself. And he had filed a bankruptcy, and the bankruptcy had been going on for quite some time, months and months and months. And the IRS was still levying him. And the levies, a levy is a seizure, right? So, I mean, they were taking his wages. They were taking, they were levying his, his boat, bank accounts. His they, were, they weren't taking all that I'm stuff because he, he didn't have that kind of stuff. But they were levying his source of income, and they were slowly just, you know, choking off the air. They were just, you know, crushing his windpipe, so to speak. And um, he came in uh, to the office. I'd known him for quite some time. Is that the and, worst? Like when you have an attorney come in to you, that, that they're probably like, like well, attorneys fall into two camps, okay, as clients. They're either uh, perfect, they know that they, I know what I'm doing, so they should just let me do it, or they want to micromanage every bit of the experience, and that doesn't usually work out as well because they don't know what they're doing. And so I don't go to the doctor and say, but doc, you know, really, we should adjust this medication because, you know, I really know better. It's not It's not like that. And I'm not, I love representing lawyers for the most part because most of them just kind of know, hey, you know, you know what you're doing, just help me out, explain it to me, which I do pretty well. And uh, and they just let me do my thing. But this gentleman actually had uh, he was in a bankruptcy. It was still pending when he came to talk to me, and he wanted me to just get the levies off because he was just you know choking to death. And um, I explained to him, you know, there's this thing called an automatic stay that happens when you file a bankruptcy, and the automatic stay is uh, what protects you from creditors. It protects them, protects you from t- those creditors taking adverse actions like, you know, seizing your house and that kind of stuff. So what had happened is he had not properly noticed the IRS that he was actually in bankruptcy. Literally one phone call, called the IRS, hey, automatic stays in place. You guys are in violation of the automatic stay. Mm-hmm. And it turns out they're actually, they released the levy. That, like a hot potato, that day, right? And he's going to get about $17,000 in refunds of the levied money for while he was in bankruptcy. And so, they finally stopped choking his air off. Yeah, so I consider that a win. I mean, it's not a solution to his entire problem yet, and hopefully he gets to be a train wreck in the future. But it was a train wreck, or it was a, a great uh, solution for him in that particular scenario.